Do you feel like they're listening to you? No, I don't feel like they take me seriously. We can't have three seasons in a four. Good luck, Ice Queen. Last time we had it, it was pathetic. It's a closed set. You need to move out of the area. This is extremely dangerous. It's a disaster in the making. Struggling a little bit today. Oh, now they've got to pose. They were down there before doing done this training with them already. But it doesn't look like. 12. Oh, what's that? Is it. <laughs> huh? Nice okay. shoes. 18. What's this outfit you're wearing today? Seven. Well, I'm going to be serious, and I want these girls to take me serious. Really? I'm trying to give them a little inspiration. Okay. Is it hot? Yeah. yeah, it's hot. But, you know, you have to make some sacrifices. Oh, my god, your nose is bleeding out of the that. pool. I know. I Honey, that. sorry. Do you want to hear no. Are you OK? I just went to get too fast. You went down really fast. Then? You... I just lay upside down. Girls, we'll get you to carry on with the training, and we'll do the weight training, where you can um, actually go down and get the weight, and we'll walk along the bottom. A space woman. Why is she getting? I don't know what would make someone wake up and suddenly go, I'm going to wear a space suit and I'll be taken seriously. <laughs> I've got um, some pictures to show you from your underwater shoot. Ting, your first up. What season were you? Uh, spring. This is your first peak. So, what do you think? I like this one. It's a little dark and I look very, very skinny. You're a bit ruby, aren't you? So, Lacey, you're next. Okay. Mm. Let's have a look. Mm. What do you think of your pictures? I like the posing in this one, except for my face isn't forward enough, so it's a little dark. As Mick always says, like, you've got to find the light. So if you've got, even if your hair is above you, you know what I mean, that is going to cast a shadow to a degree. So I know you are autumn. What do you think? I hate my angles. I think that was when I was actually trying to find the ring to come back to it, that they took it. These photos will give you guys a good indication of how much shadow there is and how important your hair is to be away and things like that. Crystal, unfortunately, you don't have any pics, but um, yeah, just maybe pick up on what the girls have seen in their photos and continue to train and we'll see what happens on the next shoot. We just saw our pictures of Beck. I think the photos that they picked weren't maybe necessarily the best ones. I think Anya could have been a little more feminine with her posing. So for mine, I definitely needed more lighting on my face. So she has to maybe find like a different angle to pose with. Andrew, we've got the circus shoot coming up, so I just wanted to go over all of the props that we're using for the four elements that we've chosen, which are ringmaster, trapeze artist, fortune teller, and unicycle. Yeah, okay, first off, we have fortune teller. Fortune teller. We'll be making these. What about the table and the chair and stuff? It's going to be a regular plastic table that's yeah. going to have a cloth on it. We're going to make it look like wood. But for the ringmaster, we have the whips. Yep. Um, we have quite a few of them. Yep. That one's for a hippopotamus. This is for a lion. Okay. That well, was a joke. This one's actually a riding cloth prop for a horse. You're from Australia, you know a lot more about that. <laughs> so these things actually work, like we'll have to give the girls some... Here, 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 here. Ow, I just hit myself. <laughs> they work. Unicycle. We have weights all around, like the half moon at the bottom, and then we have floats here. This floats up, that sinks, and it will stand just like this. It's, it's not going to work because we've still got to balance this, which you say has a centre of balance to a degree, plus a girl on top. There is no way but it's going to... the girl gonna... doesn't weigh anything No, underwater. but she's not going to be able to still weighs, teeter on this thing. She weighs thing. a not gonna work. negative pound of, like, buoyancy. It's not going to work. This is going to float more than a negative pound. So this is actually going to help her because if she pushes up, it's going to go back. They're not that coordinated. Okay, well... It's not going to work. This will work. It's not going to work. This, yeah, it's just not going to work. Wait, Even if the models are not amazing, this will work. If the it's models are horrible and 
and they're not trained right on it, then it won't work. But... Well, that's a disaster. We're just gonna have to come up with something else. What? No, my guys oh. have put a lot of work into this. But if it's not gonna work, there's no Okay, well, we'll test it, and like, your girls just, they're models. They make it look good, even though it isn't easy to do. That's what they do, and that's why they get paid. Yeah, but that's not balancing on a bloody unicycle. That's what you water. do as a model. You go jump <gasps> in freezing water, you go do stupid stuff, and you look pretty while you do it, because you're a soldier. Yeah, not gonna work. All right, well, when it works, I'll do my I told you so dance. If I see you under the water on this, it works. Mick needs to see the photos of the makeup. The models will be coming in. We are going to do some training on some specialized props that we're using for the next shoot. So basically, we're going to see who works. Hello. Hey, Mick. Hello, everybody. Hey. Sorry to be late. Okay, we're all here now. Good. We've got the circus coming to town, so... I have circus every day. <laughs> I don't need to come to town. This is a special one. Special okay. one. And uh, we're looking at the ocean, and Andrew's team have made a great set. So basically, it comprises of a podium, which is this, and then... Wait, wait a minute. You tell me you're looking at the ocean? How big is this it's... thing? Um, 40 feet by 25 feet. Okay. So... <laughs> Okay, so we actually have, yeah, we have the tarp at the back, we have the podium, and then we have this ring setting that you would generally see like a lion on. Do you have a lion too? No, we haven't got the lion. But we're, we we're talking to a few sharks. Okay. Ringmaster, mm -hmm. uh, fortune teller, who'll be with a crystal ball and a table. Mm -hmm. We're set to go on that one, Andrew? Yes. Yes, okay. Trapeze, and we also have a unicycle. Like, I've got big concerns about the unicycle. Is that going to work? Go and test the stuff, right? Yeah. Think yeah. it works? Yeah. I don't uh, think it's going to work. I think we're going to have issues, but anyway, we can... Okay. okay. All right. Let's get going. Perfect. See you at the okay. circus. Give me a challenge. So that's the moment of truth? Yes. See if this thing works. Well, if you look at it right now, it's almost... Look at that. That's, yeah, but... That's with gravity. It's not going to work. If I see you under the water on this, looking all poised and gorgeous, not like ooh, flailing around, it works. What's the bet? I win. Um, a couple of beers. A couple of beers. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's get underwater. Off to test unicycle. It's not gonna work. He's doing it right now. <laughs> You only did it for two seconds and you didn't do a proper pose or more poise. Well, because I didn't have a regulator. And I think we should create a bit of current around you as well. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna test it, yeah, with no weights and with this. Oh, that's fun? Yeah, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna work. I owe him a couple of beers. <laughs> hey, Mel. Hey, Freya. Um, Mick needs to see the photos today of the makeup, so we're going to do the makeup test. The models will be coming in, OK? Oh. Let's do it. All right, thanks. OK. Let's see that makeup. Big eyes. OK, team, work it. Work with the makeup. Best model smile. Good job, Mal, on the makeup. Looks fantastic. I'm sure Mick is going to love it. Yeah. Today is really important. We get to see the girls for the first time underwater. Now we get to see where they are at and how their progress has gone, and we'll get to see how they do in their next photo shoot. So we are going to do some training on some specialized props that we're using for the next shoot that we need you guys all to try out. And basically, we're going to see who works the best with each piece. So the props we have this afternoon are a unicycle, a trapeze, a table, and some whips. Mm, that doesn't look bad. Dang, you're losing the beer competition. Posing under the water today, um, I think it was very helpful. Yeah, to fix all the little things to make the pose that much better. All the girls have their unique style, you know, posing styles, which all look good to me, but you never know what's going to look good underwater. We're 
we're also taking off our masks and the respirator and holding our breath while posing. So I think that extra training really helped me. I can't wait for the shoot. Out of all the props, I think the unicycle is definitely the hardest. Do you think that anyone actually nailed the unicycles? Not yet. Like, the unicycle's hard. But this was a test to see, you know, what the balance was like and also um, how much weighting and stuff you need. That's why we had the shoes yeah. on, we had the weight belt on, so we can adjust. Yeah, it's not as easy as Andrew thought it was. So which model and which prop? Um, well, at the moment, it looks like Ting on the unicycle, Lacey with the whip, Crystal as the fortune teller, and Anya on the trapeze. So good work today, and uh, we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Yay. Great. Bye. See you Today, uh, it's gonna be kind of tough for the art department because we're kind of late, so we gotta hurry. So our tip's not gonna be ready for six, so we gotta push these fall times, people. Make up ready. What we need to do right now, get everything onto this boat. It's gonna look like shit. All right, all right, all right, right! Today, uh, it's gonna be kind of tough for the art department because for one thing, we have a 25 foot by 40 foot backdrop that we're gonna be trying to put in the ocean which is basically a huge sail. So if we're a little off on where the current is, this thing is just gonna um, That's why we're trying to get out there so early. So hopefully we can miss that current. We're all loaded up right now. We're just ready to head out. We've already sent our first van. They're gonna go get a banca for us and meet us at the pier so we can take off straight from there. We're, uh, we're kind of late, so we gotta hurry. Okay, just load them up and just go. Let's start getting the uh, the buoys with the carabiners. Let's go. Yeah, so it's pretty windy. It's also choppy, which is gonna make we have a bunch of floats. So it's gonna make that really hard to deal with. We're gonna get down there and see what it is. We're gonna try to find a sandy patch because we don't really want coral for this. We want just mostly sand. Let's stay positive. Okay, cool. The current is so strong that it's ripping our tarp right out of our buoys. <laughs> if even if we got some tangles in it, we're just gonna have to. She's not picking up. It's getting wrecked. I think we should take it out of the water, and so I think we should move to the pool. Well, the pool's gonna look ridiculous, and I told her I needed. Uh, an hour or like a day to know us doing in the pool because we don't have any sand or anything. It's gonna be on a empty. It's gonna look like. Can we just get as close to that boat as possible? What we need to do right now is get the boats and get everything onto this boat because we have to send your boat back to pick up Mick and Cat. They're waiting at the Shangri La Wharf. Yeah, you should just come over here. We have a lot of stuff on this boat. We have like 40 tanks. We have like. All right, fine. We're all moving to that boat. All right, all right, all right. Fight! I'll get you to come on this boat with the camera and Jimmy, and we'll go back and get Mick. OK, how bad is it? It's pretty, pretty bad. bad. Visibility I mean, is terrible. Visibility here is, is, is crap because of all the waves. But even over so, there, it's, it's pretty bad, and uh, the tide is, or the uh, current is terribly killing strong. us. What's our options, though? Options at the moment are we can do a night shoot in the pool, and Andrew's team can have that all that set up by around 5, 6 o'clock. That way we still get the shoot in, we can still use all of our sets and wonderful equipment, and we're still on track for the rest of the shooting schedule. So let's wrap you on the ocean today, because this is not going to get better. 
and you know, you just focus on the pool stuff and we can buy lunch for everybody. Okay. okay. Cool. We'll see you at the pool at six o'clock. Yeah. Let's get some pizza. All right, John G, here's what's gonna happen now that we're not in the ocean. Okay. Um, we have a stage, so there's pieces of acrylic over here. Uh, we're gonna take those, we'll get those down first, and then there's a metal frame. There's a metal frame down, we're gonna lay it out on the bottom, and then we're gonna face it with that acrylic. We'll get this ring in first, and then we'll cover it with pebbles. Well, I don't know what Andrew's doing, because he's saying he's gonna be ready, and clearly he is not. Half the set's still sitting on the side of the pool drying. Like, the lacquer only went on half an hour ago. And now he's underwater and won't come up. I've got 15 minutes, I've got everyone in makeup, I've got all the girls here, the divers here, I don't know what to do. Mix call time is six, so... Okay, well, we have the rings to put in, we'll get some sand to put in, we're done. Yeah, but we're not gonna be ready by six, are we? Do you have the rings? Can we use that, I need to confirm we're not gonna be ready by six. Um... Someone go have a diet coke with them, and we'll be ready. Um, guys, can we get the, somebody to hand us those rings? Yeah. Yeah. So, Artip's not going to be ready for six, so we've got to push these call times, people. Are, are the, is makeup ready? Oh, makeup's ready. The models are itching. Everyone is ready but you, my friend, so we'll just push it for you guys. It's okay. Thanks. Can somebody help, uh, help him? Andrew's very stressed because we only have to push mixed call time because the set's not ready. I'm going to push him to 6.30. Okay, uh, Beck wants everything ready at 4, 6, 15 up at the pool. She needs to finish it here if she can. She didn't know the call time, so she was running late. And... Typical, didn't know the call time. OK, Woo! give your best. Let's do it. I've been waiting for her for two minutes. I'm like, are you retarded? Tonight is the circus. I'm a fortune teller today. I'm a trapeze artist, and I get to be the ringmaster. I'm going to be on the unicycle because I was the best at it. All right, so. The ocean didn't work out today, but we just moved to the pool. I think we have some cool sets. Just to recap, everything's small. No big movement. You just put the story together. You know, where you feel, where are you, what are your circumstances. OK, Woo! give your best. Let's do it. OK, you'll be taken down by Dudong if you want to start getting ready. Mick, you ready to go underwater? All camera crew and dive crew should be underwater, mixed in the water. Uh, we'll send model down in minutes. Table's a disaster. Oh my gosh, what's going on on the table? It's like completely lopsided. She is having an extremely hard time. Crystal hasn't even had a chance to pose because the table's falling over. Well, she did sit on the table, which we wanted her to do. Why is it not working now? Because, I don't know, but it's not working. Look, we've got, like, divers underneath. Oh, it's Andrew. Andrew's underneath there. You can see his fins sticking up in the air. What is he doing? Oh, great. Now she's, what, just posing, like, randomly? Oh, he's going up, he's going up. This table is a complete disaster. Where's Andrew? This table is a complete disaster. We waited it down in she okay. Yeah, yeah because she, she can have her face and not lift. Where does oh. this freaking light come from? This is too much of an angle. If the if the angle is from here, we need her to face this way. It needs to be this way, not that way. Chris? Yeah, I agree. I agree, it's a disaster. <laughs> in the making. It's well, not in the uh, making, it's a past <laughs> tense. Disaster made already. Lacey, who are you going to be imagining you're whipping down there? Look at you guys for working me so damn hard. <laughs> She's going okay. She needs to change position. She's into a second position now. Okay, so now what is she? I don't know, but... Yeah, that looks good. Nice bubbles. Why do they have a chair there and they're not even using it? I don't know, probably because there wasn't enough communication. She was, she's using her legs the right way, but she needs to get that arch in her back so she 
just yeah. Like, and do something with a mouth. Oh, Open a mouth. Oh, God. God. Open your mouth. <laughs> That was good. Oh, that was so, good. here was the secret. Actually, when you stepped back, you were, you were out of the light. But uh, this time I got good. Yeah, She's not doing anything at the moment. She hasn't taken the regulator out. She seems a bit flustered, actually. <laughs> she looks really angry. I know. Mama did such a good job in the training. She's all confident and ready to rock it. What is she doing right now? I don't know, she's doing boring poses. She needs to be able to move a bit. I don't know why she's sitting on the trapeze. I don't know, actually, she's trying to do a pose that I showed her in the book. Because if she's sitting on it, she, we may as well have her sitting on the swing. We wanted to take, we wanted to do trapeze poses, like. What are we waiting for? I have been waiting for her for two minutes. Well, why is she, just... she didn't hear. Oh, what you're talking about, and then you disappear. And no, still, so no. I'm, I'm, I'm already framed up. I don't want to go there and tell you, and then I'm not framed up again. I have to go back and do the whole thing again. I am ready for you, but you're just sitting, and I'm waiting, and you're sitting and sitting, and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and something happens, and you didn't take your regulator out. So I don't know what you what you want to do, what you're talking about. She only heard half of the conversation. That's why she was confused. No. Are you retarded? You have to direct, dear. You're sitting here, you're seeing that there's nothing going on, and you do nothing. I did. You did not say anything. Well, she heard it. No, you were not paying attention to what's going on. And okay. then I'm in position. I'm waiting. She doesn't know what to do. And okay. the only it. She was in position, I, I was did. in position, you didn't yeah. say it. Everyone was down there. I yes, heard... why Why did you not call action? Because why I was down in the other her? window. You were watching the disaster yeah, and you didn't say anything. Yeah, but the speaker's so up here. The speaker's up here. So do your job. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, yes. She didn't hear. Mick, we've got Ting on the unicycle next. Did I get the umbrella? Let's go, guys. Time to move. On the unicycle. Yeah, we're not balancing very well, are we? Okay, Ting is on the unicycle. Let's see if she can keep it balanced. I think that's why she's having trouble balancing. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice bubble. Can we get one more tank on standby for Mick and another camera card? Great pose. Wow. She looks, she looks awesome. Yeah. Oh, they're taking you out. Taking you out. Going up, going up, going up. Okay, she's coming up now. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that was really great. I was actually very nervous. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So he can come up. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool or not? I love it. Okay. So the ocean didn't work today. This, this worked really well. I am very happy with what we got. So, I think we can wrap, right? Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! We started early this morning. Our department was in the water at like 6 a.m. The tide and the current was not on our side, so we got out, we came to the pool, and it's been a fantastic night. The circus has gone off without a hitch, sort of. Um, <laughs> but all in all, it's been really great. All the girls have been down shot once. Mick's really happy. Um, our department, I think, are happy. We're all happy. It's been a great day. A long day, but a great day. How's the training going this morning, Christina? It's going really well. Most of them have doubled their times. These are the worst results I've ever seen. I have no idea what more I can do. To do your job. Beck, where are you going? You're going to see what's happening. There should have been a production person saying, hey, oh, get your ass out of the water. I had to bring islands to get the boat over to me.